Hello everyone. As part of the Amazon Bedrock Agent Core video series, we are going to cover Agent Core Gateway as part of this video. Using Agent Core Gateway, the agents that you build can interact with different services or APIs. You might have existing APIs built or tools built. You can expose all of those and Agent Core can interact with those APIs and tools through this gateway. So one of the core gateway capabilities is you can transform your existing APIs into agent tools through Gateway. It supports both Open API or Smithy API specification formats. In addition to Open API and Smithy, it also supports Lambda functions to be able to expose those to your agent gateway. Essentially, it provides a management layer between the agents and the tools that allows you to have observability and security in terms of both ingress as well as egress on both sides of the gateway. On the ingress side, we are talking about the agent interacting with the gateway endpoint. And on the egress side is from the gateway endpoint to your backend API or the tools that you have exposed. Also, these agents grow fast. You might run into some problem where the number of tools can grow and be challenging for an agent to reason through and pick the right one. Let's say you have 10 tools that you exposed today. This would work just fine. An agent can choose the right one. But when increases the number of tools, let's say hundreds or thousands, and you will get into a state where it's not practical for an agent to choose the right tool on every occasion. So the gateway provides a way to semantically search for the correct tool and to limit or filter the tool set so that agent can choose the right one and have a much better outcomes. And in the current state, it can support MCV protocol as the way that the agent is going to interact with the gateway. So basically, from your agent perspective, it becomes pretty simple. You first create the gateway endpoint. Second, create a gateway target. It can be an API target or a Lambda target. And at the back end, it automatically exposes the tools. Agent Core Gateway also supports authentication via the identity providers, such as Cognito or OAuth compatible identity providers. So Gateway will validate the token and pass the request. So with this, we'll go into the code walkthrough and the demo. First, let's call the utility function create gateway lambda to create a lambda function that you want to convert into MCP tools. This is the lambda which got created. This function serves as a multi tool backend for agent core gateway. So, extracting the tool name from the lambda context and routing the request to different business logic based on which MCP tool was called, it returns a mock response either order status for get order tool or success message for any other tool like update order tool. Then create the IAM role for the gateway to assume. Then create the Amazon Cognito resources for the authorization. Now let's create the actual agent core gateway using the bedrock agent core client. It returns the gateway ID and the gateway URL. You can see the gateway created in the Amazon Bedrock Agent Core console. Next, create the Lambda targets and transform into MCP tools. The two tools that we have, the Get Order tool and the Update Order tool. You can see the targets created in the gateway in the console. Now let's create the MCP client to call the Lambda target tools using the strands agent and Amazon Nova Pro bedrock model. Finally, let's test by calling the list tools and invoking the tools by passing the prompts. And we got the responses for the prompts. The first prompt was, can you list all the tools available to you? It returned both the tools, the get order tool and the update order tool. The second prompt was, check the order status for the order ID one, two, three. It returned the order status for the order ID 123. So that's the end of this code walkthrough for the Asian Core Gateway. Thanks.